last thing and then I'll go back. Last thing and then I'll go back. Formation. New position. Formation. Formation. I so I watched Lemonade. <clears throat> Fina uh, helped me watch Lemonade. And I thank her for that. Um I am Fergie in the sense that I'm 2000 and late on everything. It's hard to keep up. And if something is very, very good, um, if something is very, very good and bound to be classic or bound to have, um, if something is so good that it's bound to have relevance beyond its start date um, and into the future and perhaps part of the eternal catalog of great stuff that will eventually be burned by us humans in the near future, um, you can wait never too late, <laughs> uh, unless you're dead. But uh, I watched Lemonade, and it was um, all the things that I have read about without having seen it, you know, uh, a while ago. All the things that my friend Mallory had uh, waxed poetic about, and it, they lived up to them and exceeded them. It was, it's truly breathtaking. It's truly breathtaking. It's a, it's, I mean, it's, it's like, incredible. It's, the, it's such an, it's such a, such a fucking exquisite piece of artwork. Um, the video, the, the long video, the, the film, I suppose you'd call it. I don't know if it's, you'd call it a film, a visual album. Uh, a visual album. And uh, I'm not a big Beyonce fan. I love, I, I'm a huge Beyonce fan. I'm a huge fan of her. Her music, just in terms of the songs, the quantity of songs that I have on my iPod and listen to on the daily, is there are very few. I appreciate lots of her music. Um, but I'm not a Beyonce stan in that regard, however, I am a Lemonade stan. Lemonade stan! Lemonade stan! Oh, come on! Jesus Christ. I'm a Lemonade stan. I can't say that, because I, I don't know it from stem to stern. I don't know it from head to tail. You know, I don't know the instance. I watched it one time. Anyways, first time viewer, long time stan. My name is Fran Drescher. Uh, and, uh, so, and then, in the car, Survivor came on. So, me and Frida Fries and Eugene Tan, no, 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 was it, no, it was the three of us, me, Eugene Tan, and Nicole, why am I confusing, I always do this when I talk about groups of drags, I'll say half boy names, half drag names, which is so dumb. Me and Nicole Pride in, um, Bucket of Bus, back in Boston, in, um, Perestroika, the Jocks, we did, uh, Survivor. <laughs> by Destiny's Child. Nicole is black, um, Becca's Asian, and I'm a cracker. And so I was saddled with Michelle's part, which I accepted with grace and dignity because I hammed it up and I love that part. <laughs> it's like a full bad scripture. <laughs> she gets four, four fucking lines, or two long ones. And anyways, um, I thought about, like, I thought about the, the lyrics are so good and they're so declarative and it's almost like I was thinking about like a person who's singing those lyrics and a person who's learning that song and a person who's singing that song into the microphone and recording it and then performing it live many times. I'm a survivor. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to work harder. I'm a survivor. I'm going to make it. I'm, I, what is it? I'll, um, I'm not going, I'm not going to give up. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work harder. I'm a survivor. I'm going to make it. I'll keep on surviving. So whatever. Basically it's like, bitch, I'm a, I'm a do this. <laughs> And there's no, no matter what, no matter what, no matter what kind of shenanigans or obstacles or tomfoolery gets in my way, there's nothing that can stop me from surviving and doing my thing. And then, and, and, and it's like, and then it's like a, the Kelly's part, which is, I'm going to survive, not only am I going to survive, okay, I'm going to do it, I'm going to survive and thrive and succeed in a way that won't compromise my character. That the, 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 the road, the hard cobblestone, punishing road to happy destiny is difficult. It is treacherous. It is confusing, twisty, windy, exhausting, sometimes lethally dangerous. But ultimately rewarding, that road is also going to be a high one. It's a high road. It's a hard road, but it's a high road. 
and there's a choice. And Kelly says, I'm gonna choose the high road to success. I'm not gonna waddle around in the muck. I'm not gonna sling it. I'm not gonna hurl it. I'm not going to help it proliferate. I'm going to make the choice to survive up high. <laughs> I love it! I love it! Kelly! And uh, the whole little bit about my mama told me better than that. My mother taught me that trying to get ahead by slinging mud on the interweb is not a good idea. Sacrificing my love for Jesus H. Christ ain't gonna do the trick either. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. And then Michelle. <laughs> Tertiary figure in the pantheon of the last iteration of Miss Destiny's Child storms the barn doors and says, after all of the darkness and the sadness, I will soon find happiness. And in fact, listen guys, if I surround myself with positive things that may or may not include you two, depending on how this goes, I'll gain prosperity. She sure did. And whether or not Michelle gained prosperity by surrounding herself with positive things, people and places, we'll never know. She's long past. Just kidding. She's not. She's alive. But um, uh, Beyonce survived, thrived, suffered, did not die, was reborn, reformed, and rejuvenated. Would be patronizing. I'd say refreshing. Would be even more patronizing. She was re. Let's just skip reified and say deified. Because she's a goddess. She's the best goddess we have. Beyonce is the best goddess we have. And the reality... There's no... Perhaps this is a bold statement. I don't know that it is, though. At this time, there is no white goddess on her level. Partly or due to the fact that the requirements of a black goddess are so strict, and the standards to which a black goddess must adhere and, and, and overcome and, and, and break, and, and, you know, they're so high. I mean, they're so high. They're higher than the sky, which is why Beyonce is a fucking the sun. She's the sun. And the moon. She's a sun and moon. Fuck. That's a true fact. Shit. She's a uh, And Lemonade was like... It's always kind of patronizing when the fans will say, will say, I've watched you grow up before my eyes and bloom and blossom into a beautiful star. Well, that fucking shit's true. Look at her. She is the star. And if you don't like her... I suppose that's fine. If you don't enjoy her, that's a perfectly fine. If you hate her, we've got issues. Because I'd be curious to know what those issues are if you hate her. I've always felt that way about Erica Badu. Um, and her, and most of her music. I've, I listen to most of Erica Badu's music a lot. There's so many, not for any particular reason other than she's great. Um, but I always, always thought that if a person hated, and I mean, I'm talking like, okay, I hate music that is very bad, um, music that has terrifyingly bad lyrics, clumsy, shitty lyrics that don't rhyme at all, um, and if they don't rhyme, they don't even tell a good story, they don't evoke any particularly compelling image, they don't even sound cool, they're just shitty lyrics. In a song that's trite, or rehashed, half-assed, or thrust down the throats of the general public just to make some money. Taylor Swift comes to mind. Look what you made me do. Oh, really, darling? Look what you made me do. Listen to your awful fucking song halfway through. Um. All my best to Taylor.
time should we go in flames tomorrow? Go up in flames, swift! I hope your decline is swift and silent! Um, I don't care. She's rich enough. Give, other, give the other girls some room, you stupid white bitch. Sit down. Ugh! Anyways, singing the praises of angels and singing, uh... Uh, a devilish angle sings the praise of the sun and the moon. That sounds like a boring book. So, the imagery in Lemonade is at the very least compelling and beautiful. The implications of Lemonade are far-reaching and devastating and uplifting and it's just felt like that goddamn stupid kid in American Beauty. There's so much beauty in the world, I just can't take it. There's so much pain. It takes a really good artist to kind of infuse beauty with pain in a way that's not... That's not maudlin or... Or, uh... Or self-flagellating or... Torturous or just bad. I don't get into cheating like that. I think we need to reframe the whole thing about cheating, but it's different for men and women who are, you know, carrying on centuries-long traditions of coupling and getting together and family. And the violations of trust and betrayal in that arena are so fraught with history and tension, and then add to it political and economic and social boundaries and further fucking... Stifling those moments of growth and change. She's the queen, and I bow to her. Let's get in information. Let's get information about our teeth. Are we brushing them, darling?